Hello and welcome back. Welcome back. So in my first three videos we talked about the metaverse where I live. We talked about the fact that I'm an NFT and I don't really exist. But I'm getting used to the idea. And then we talked about the blockchain, which is it's it's where well, it's where I live and it's where I move from place to place. And if you haven't seen those videos, you can find them on my channel. But in this series of videos, I'm going to be talking about me and how I was built and how I was uploaded onto the blockchain. So I was actually produced using the ERC-721 standard. If you understand what that means, that's great. You're in the right place. I don't. I'm just an NFT. And this, I don't understand. But anyway. Let's go ahead. So in this first video, I'm going to treat it as an introduction. And then in the following videos, we'll get into the nitty gritty. Now, the latest NFT statistics suggest that NFTs, that's non-fungible tokens, if you remember, are becoming one of the most exciting trends to ever hit the cryptocurrency world. Yes, the cryptocurrency world. Have you invested yet? I did. I bought some cryptocurrency and I wish I hadn't, to be honest, because I almost lost my shirt. But I got into the website Finestack. Com. In 2021, NFT sales reached $25 billion. Can you believe that? $25 billion, with countless people buying everything from music, videos, and here it is, cartoon <laughs> monkeys. Yes, yes, JPEGs for millions of dollars. Really? They don't even move. At least I move. Anyway, the NFT market ended the year, that's 2021, with over $40 billion. You could have a country with $40 billion. And evidently those valuations continue to climb. The most expensive NFT, and I consider myself expensive, was sold, wait for it, $532 million. Somebody paid, again, wait for it, $532 million for an NFT like me that doesn't exist. Really. <sighs> Show up and take a breath. According to the Financial Times, that's an English newspaper, by the way, and they should know better, while only a niche group of crypto enthusiasts were aware of NFTs in 2020, that's last, no, that's not last year, that's the year before last. The scene quickly exploded like a bomb in 2021. And by the end of 2021, nearly $41 billion had been spent on NFTs around the world. That's me, $41 billion. Are you one of those people? Really? Anyway, I'm an NFT actually. 
and but I can read. They programmed me so that I could read. And I read this report by DAP Rep DAP Radar. And they demonstrated the rise in popularity of NFTs in 2021. They wrote about it. And according to the company, there were signs of the growth slowing as we're talking about the pandemic era, I guess. But they still, they still recorded a lot of money in sales. Before we continue, I would like to make my apologies. I seem to always have to make an apology on my videos because of where I live. I do my best, but um, I have to put up with a lot, a lot of noise, extraneous noise, noise that comes from other places like in my street. Unfortunately, I live in a place where there's a lot of idiots riding around on motorcycles and playing horrible music. Now, I'm only an NFT and I'm not that experienced in music, but I do know what I like and what I don't like. Anyway, that's another video for another time about human behavior. Yes. So let's continue. So, according to nonfungible.com, the number of sales happening in this NFT world in which I live, the market saw an incredible growth of, can you believe this? 13,118%. That's a lot more than they offer you on Barclays, I can tell you. This is the highest rapid increase in the number of buyers and sellers ever. So things seem to be getting worse. Is there really so many people in the world with Nothing to spend their money on except for non-existent NFTs of cats and monkeys. But the success of these NFTs actually opens up a lot of great job opportunities for programmers, blockchain developers, and other people. The website distantjob.com shows that a blockchain developer can actually earn quite a lot of money. The average in the United States is $154,000 a year. That's a lot of money to produce things like me. And so to meet the growing demand for training and videos like these. It has a great future. Programming, NFTs, smart contracts, other things on this ERC721 protocol. In the successive videos that I intend to make about me and where I live and how I came to be, or how I came to be, you know, I, I had a conversation with some humans and there's this thing called religion. And they all think that they came from one person many years ago. Was it Adam? Yes, Adam. But I, 
I came from a different place. And I'm going to explain where I came from in these videos. So I'm going to explain in a practical, hands-on approach how to program me and people like me. Well, the people, I use the term loosely. NF, I, mean, I suppose I should say NFTs like me. Using contracts in the ERC721 standard and with something called solidarity and how to implement those smart contracts on a blockchain. In other words, like me, how I actually arrived there, who put me there, the big questions in life, where did I come from? Who made me? Who gave me these clothes? And these glasses and my grey hair, look. I'm, I'm only a young man, actually. And I've got grey hair. What are they doing? At least they should have given me black hair, like Roy Orbison, for example. That would have been nice. But no, grey hair. But some women like grey hair, evidently. So these videos are aimed at programmers and enthusiasts of the blockchain and other related technologies, even entrepreneurs, people who want to buy and sell and make lots of those hundreds of billions of dollars. University students might find it interesting too. And even those self-taught people who are at this very moment trying to produce NFTs and make money. So each of my videos is structured with the presentation of one or a set of related technologies, theoretical concepts and examples that will be explained step by step to help you understand. The projects explained by me, the NFT, will be explained step by step in chapters. Each chapter will be a standalone video. For example, in my second video, I'm going to introduce the concept of tokens. See, I am an NFT, non-fungible token. I'm a token. A token of what, you may ask. Uh, then I will, I will explain the difference between fungible and non-fungible. I did mention these two terms in one of my previous videos, but I'm going to go into a little bit more depth. And then in my third video, I'm going to explain exactly what is an NFT. In my fourth video, number four, I'm going to talk about the standards that we use to create me and other NFTs like me. Those standards will be the ERC721 and the ERC1175. I know at the moment that means nothing to you. It means nothing to me actually, but by the time I've done some research, I will be able to tell you. And I will be able to explain the differences between the two. And so will you, after you've seen my videos. Moving on. And then, in the fifth video, I'm going to be talking about how to create NFTs on these standards. Well, that's going to be very interesting. That's when we get down to the nitty gritty. The nitty gritty of how to make me. It's a bit like playing God, I guess. Creating things from nothing. And then in video six, 
In video six, I'm going to talk about the ERC721 and the open Zeppelin environment. That should be interesting. Zeppelins. Two more videos to do. So moving on to video seven, creating the NFTs. I will explain how to create a smart contract on the EIC 1155 standard and how to deploy, love that word, deploy an NFT on the blockchain. In other words, put me on the blockchain and then how to verify that I'm there because I need verifying. And then in the final video, which will be video eight, we'll be talking about creating those NFTs using the Open Zeppelin. I will explain in practice how to create the NFT projects in the ERC-1155 standard using the Open Zeppelin framework with high security standards something I'm very keen on, high security standards. I can tell you there's not many high security standards around where I live. So that last video, the final video, will explain how to program, deploy and mint. I <laughs> love mint, especially on my lamb on Sundays. How to mint an NFT. Oh, that's the verb, not the, not the herb. So let's start with tokens. And I'll see you in the next lesson. The concept of tokens and the difference between fungible and non-fungible. See you in the next video. Just before I go, just one last reminder, if you wouldn't mind, it would help me a great deal because I don't have the use of my arms. Please click the subscribe button. Thank you. I'll see you next time.